Well, hey guys, it's all good. I'm just chugging away here on a little decaf um, and wanting some actual caffeine. <laughs> Anyways, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail of today's video, I'm going to be talking about squalene or squalane. This is a ingredient that many people ask me to cover. What is it? Is it useful? What's the science behind it? Is it something I should be buying and putting on my face or body? Squalene is a polyunsaturated hydrocarbon. It's very abundant in a lot of fish oils. It's particularly rich in shark oil. And it can also be found in small amounts in a variety of plant oils, namely olive oil. With relevance to human skin, squalene is present in our sebum, which is the oil that our sebaceous gland makes, comes out of our pore and coats the surface of our skin and helps in maintaining our skin barrier. It's really important uh, that our oil glands do that for us. And squalene is a component of that oil. It's about 14% of sebaceous of sebum, sebaceous, sebaceous oil. So squalene, squalene is, is the polyunsaturated hydrocarbon. Squalane, L-A-N-E, is really just a modified version of that in which it's been saturated so that it is basically more shelf stable and is something that can be put into personal care products. So you'll find it as an ingredient in a lot of moisturizers. And really it doesn't, it doesn't change the biology or, or the utility of squalene, if it's squalene or squalane, but it just makes it more, more friendly for over-the-counter products, something they can actually put into creams and use and that won't, won't degrade. It really doesn't change anything about it. And most of the squalene, squalane in products is not derived from sharks. I don't think any of it is. Most of it's actually derived from olive oil. So you don't have to worry about, you know, those of you who are seeking vegan products and cruelty-free things, I would say you're safe, pretty much safe to buy things that have squalane in them. It's unlikely to be shark derived. Now on its own, squalane or squalene, whichever one, uh, is, is a, it's a hydrocarbon. It's a lot like mineral oil or petrolatum. Uh, it doesn't feel greasy though on the skin. It doesn't have an oily feel to it. But what it does for the skin is it is an emollient. Basically what that means is it's a small, small particles that trickle between the skin cells and smooth out the edges of the skin cells. It also can form an occlusive barrier on the surface of the skin that retards transepidermal water loss. So it's a useful ingredient in moisturizers. Um, but you know, similar to similar to mineral oil, mineral oil does the same thing. They're both hydrocarbons, and this just happens to be one that is naturally present in our sebum. Uh, but they, you know, they both, as far as what they do, they both more or less function the same for the skin. What what studies do we have on the benefits, if any, of using squalane or squalene uh, in your skincare? Honestly, not that really none. <laughs> there are there is a paucity of data on the use of squalane in personal care products and topical products to say anything about it. Uh, that doesn't stop cosmetic manufacturers from making all sorts of claims. Uh, so really there's there's not a whole lot to say about squalane or squalene. It, uh, we do have a study looking at mice uh, in which uh, squalane was applied topically and resulted in improved uh, measures of, of skin hydration, decreased transepidermal water loss. So, you know, you can potentially extrapolate that onto human skin, but our skin's much different from mice. Uh, and then we have a human study that looks at uh, a condition called uremic pr pruritus, which is an intractable, insufferable itch related to renal failure. I mean, if you have renal failure and suffer from this, you know it is miserable. I would not worse wish this on my worst enemy. It is a terrible condition to cope with. I mean, it is total body intractable itch that cannot be alleviated. It's very difficult to treat. Uh, it's related to the renal failure. So there was a study that looked at application of a moisturizer that contained squalane and it also contained a few other things like uh, aloe and also vitamin E. Uh, a, a gel moisturizer and people with uremic pruritus put this on I think twice a day for I want to say 12 weeks or no just two weeks and uh, they got their itch improved but there was no control and the gel cream had other stuff in it so it's hard to say if it's a squalane 
And if you have it, any kind of itch will be alleviated by the topical application of a moisturizer. So that study really doesn't tell us anything. Um, but uh, aside from that, you know, it, it further confirms that topical squalane appears to be safe in, uh, in personal care products. Uh, so it seems sort of pointless to go worrying about squalane. It doesn't seem to be harmful, but we don't have much data to, to say yes or no on that. Um, but we don't have any, any science behind squalane to suggest that it has an anti-aging benefit, can improve wrinkles and fine lines, to suggest that it would work as a skin brightener. It's merely just kind of a, a version of mineral oil and products. Uh, it really doesn't offer anything unique. And I will say the one caveat is that uh, with squalene in our sebum, uh, if you have acne, sebum is, sebum or the oil that our skin makes, is a key part of acne pathogenesis. And squalene, squalene excuse me, in your sebum uh, actually can contribute to that. So, you know, logic would follow if you're somebody with acne, you might not want to go pursuing squalene per se. But I can't tell you for sure that, or squalene, I can't tell you for sure that squalene applied to the skin is going to worsen your acne, that you should worry about it. But, you know, that's the, that's the difficulty when there's so little to no data on something. We're just guessing, we're just extrapolating, we're just hand waving. So I say, you know, if it happens to be in your moisturizers and you're enjoying them and they're not causing any problems, fine. But I wouldn't, you know, chalk up any major skin benefit to squalene other than decreasing transepidermal water loss and functioning as a moisturizer. But mineral oil does that too. I see all the time, like, that you can buy squalene in like a droplet form if people want to add drops of it to their moisturizer. I mean, if you want to do that, it's fine. But, you know, there's not really any science to support doing that. And, you know, so to each his own, but to me, it just kind of seems a little pointless. And, I, you know, I mean, I, I guess it might improve the emolliency overall of your moisturizer. Uh, but, you know, I think you can find, you can find a moisturizer formulated with squalane, squalane. There are tons of them out there. Just look at the ingredients. I don't know that adding more mineral, more squalane to it is necessarily going to offer any, any added benefit. But that's just my two cents. Uh, you know, I think manufacturers can make a lot of jazzy claims about things in order to sell you products. And I've seen a Squalane, you know, those little dropper bottles that are, you know, claiming to be inexpensive, but it's like, it, it, it doesn't seem, it seems a little futile. I don't, I don't really see the point of, of adding it. But if you see benefit from using Squalane over just your regular moisturizer, please comment below, uh, you know, what your experience with it has been. I know that one from The Ordinary is really popular, but... Uh, that's basically all I can say about it. Uh, nothing really striking. And, you know, if you want to add it to stuff, I don't see the harm with the caveat of, of the fact that squalene and our sebum, if you're somebody with acne, that can contribute to it. So, you know, perhaps you might want to avoid it. But again, who knows? So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I get lots of questions from you all. Talk about squalene. Talk about squalene. Is it good? So I hope this kind of address that. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.